Good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, District 1, if you're in the house. All right, all right. We want to welcome everyone to District 1. This is a phenomenal facility. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it is a hidden jewel, one that we uh, over in Northwest Detroit have been able to uh, cherish and love for quite some time. And we're thankful we're able to share it with the rest of the world, rest of the city. Uh, I want to acknowledge all of my colleagues. Thank you all uh, for being here. Thank you for being tremendous teammates as we go along this journey, Madam President, and the rest of the colleagues. I also want to recognize Mayor Duggan. Uh, when he set out on this mission, uh, when we all did uh, last year, it was imperative that we all work together in order for us to bring this community, to bring this city back to the glory days that we know uh, that we uh, once were at. And because of the relationship that we've worked upon, uh, and it hasn't been always easy, because there's been some discussions, but we make sure we have those discussions in a way that is respectful, not just to us and the process, but to you all, because you deserve it. Uh, many years we've been let down, and as a resident, I know how that feels. But I feel a change a coming. I feel it in my bones, and I know that we're doing You can give a round of applause for that. Yeah. And so the commitment of this administration to uh, focus on the neighborhoods, uh, this is a perfect example. Uh, I think, and I, you know, I'm not an old guy, 40. Uh, kids call me old, well, I'm not old. Uh, but this is the first time we've had the state of the city actually in a neighborhood that it was outside of uh, downtown and midtown. And we love downtown and midtown because you've got to have a strong core in order for your city to succeed. But we love the fact that we have this event where we're bringing the entire city to the heart and soul of a neighborhood. And this facility here has stood in this place uh, for quite some time, 80, 87 years. Uh, yeah, it's rather a round of applause for it as well, Redford Theater. 87 years, and it's completely run by all volunteers. Uh, and so, yeah, once again, we can't do it all by ourselves. 87 years run by all volunteers, and uh, another factoid, uh, this uh, facility along with the Fox Theater is the only two theaters in this state that have the original pipe organ. And uh, I don't know if he played it earlier, but if he did not, yeah, it was a treat, right? Phenomenal, phenomenal. So there's a lot of great things going on in the city of Detroit. Uh, before I wrap up, and this, let me just say also, uh, if you have an event, uh, this place also rents out. So please, <laughs> we want more business coming to District 1 and the Redford Theater. Before I wrap up, uh, I just would be remiss if I didn't say uh, hello and welcome to my family. Where are you at? Raise your hand. There they are over there. Y'all give them a round of applause. That's my family. That's my dad, James Tate Sr. The name was so good, they had to use it twice. I'm Junior. Um, that is my wonderful, lovely wife, Natrina Tate. Uh, that is my sister, Jennifer Tate, my oldest sister. And today is very special for my family personally because uh, my father-in-law, uh, it's his birthday, and he turned 89 years old today. And that's a major blessing. And my blessings just keep on growing because not only is it my father-in-law's birthday, but it's my mother's birthday tonight. So mom, happy birthday. Um, I don't know if we can do better than this in terms of a birthday gift. <laughs> but uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited about what Mayor Duggan has uh, in store. We've got a sneak peek, of, sneak peek of some of the things and you're going to be excited about the innovative things that are coming forward for this city. And I just welcome each and every one of you and thank you all for being here this evening. God bless you and have a great rest of the evening. 